Dee Ski from Dee Ski Grills back with another cooking video. And today we are making grilled smoked salmon on the barbecue grill. Please excuse the ugly sweater. Today was ugly sweater day, but what I wanted to do, it's already gotten dark. I wanted to get this film, show you these few quick steps, how you can make salmon delicious and fast on the barbecue grill. So let me show you some of the ingredients we'll be using today. Very simple ingredients. We will be using salt, pepper, and garlic. We will be using brown sugar. And for texture, we will be adding red pepper flakes. That's it. That's all we're doing. So I'll show you how we're going to get this seasoned up. What I'm planning on doing is starting up the barbecue grill. We're going to cook this at around 325. Shouldn't take any more than about 10 to 15 minutes max. We're going to add maybe a piece of either cherry or apple wood. I'll see which one I have. That'll be the smoke that we infuse in this beautiful salmon. So let me show you the salmon. What we have is a two and a half pound Atlantic salmon. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cook the salmon skin side down. This way, it can protect the flesh of the salmon. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take you outside, we're gonna show you the grill setup, and then we'll season this up, get it out on the grill, and I'm gonna show you how to make the easiest, most succulent salmon you've ever had. I wanna thank you as always for joining me. You see the lights, I hope they're showing well. Love your sweater day. Thanks for joining me, and let's get cooking. Okay, so I want to show you our grill setup. So what we have here is a slow and sear that is made specifically for the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. Now the slow and sear is an awesome device that helps you either get high heat, you can also do your low and slow. In this case, we're going to go for about 325 degrees to 350. What I have here is Fogo Lump Charcoal. I have a couple of fire starters and then as this ash is over, right when we're ready to cook, I'm going to add one chunk of apple wood. That's all we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get these lit. I'm going to put one pretty much in this area and the other one right about here. So we'll get these fired up real quick. Now I figured I'd go ahead and do this so we can start uh, getting up the temperature on the grill. And then what we'll do is go to the cutting board and uh, I'll show you how we're going to season up these salmons. Okay folks, so we'll let these uh, fire starters do their thing. Um, so again, It'll take about 15 to 20 minutes for everything to kind of ash over and be at the temperature I want. So I'll meet you back at the cutting board and we'll go from there and I'll show you what we're going to do to season up these salmons. Okay, YouTube, we are back. So here's what we're going to do. We have the salmon already rinsed and cleaned. So what we're going to do is add a little bit of olive oil. So again, acts as a binder on uh, fish and anything else that you put it on. So I want to get a nice light coat of olive oil do a little bit more okay our next step is strictly adding the salt pepper garlic which is the Suzy Q's brand that's what I like to use so we would add that now My It's Incredible from um, Heavy Made Products. I went, I ran out of it so fast. It was delicious. So I'm gonna have to order some more. So Mike, I want you to know that that is an awesome all-purpose rub and uh, so awesome that I went through it too fast. So you'll be seeing another order from me soon. Okay, and then we wanna come back with brown sugar. Um, as far as the amount of brown sugar, maybe a half a cup, I don't know. I usually just grab a handful and I sprinkle it across like this. I want to get a nice coat of that, kind of rub it in. So you just want an even coat of brown sugar. Now what's going to happen, this is going to sit on the cutting board. It's going to start um, absorbing in these flavors and you'll see the brown sugar start getting dark. Um, it's going to be great. This stuff just soaks right into your meat and just builds that flavor up in the salmon. And last but not least, we want to hit the red pepper flakes on here as well. So you have that foundation of the salt, pepper, and garlic. You have the next layer of that sweet brown sugar. You have this top layer of heat from the red pepper flakes. Now, again, this builds texture and gonna be some awesome flavor. So there's our red pepper flakes. And guess what? We are done. This is it. This is the setup for 
the salmon. We'll let it sit on the cutting board for about 10 or 15 minutes while our grill gets ready. And then again, this is just gonna absorb in. The brown sugar will get dark because it is soaking into this salmon, building up those layers of flavor. So what we're gonna do next is uh, head back outside once the grill is ready. We'll get the salmon on. I'll show you how to cook this baby up. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and I just wanted to show you how the brown sugar has pretty much absorbed right into this salmon. You see, it is soaked in now. Our juices are starting to roll off. We haven't even cooked this thing yet and this baby is packed full of flavor. So we're gonna take it out to the grill next. I just wanted to show you where we're at about 15 minutes later. The whole idea is to season it, put on the brown sugar, add the red crushed pepper flakes, let it sit. Let it do its magic on the cutting board while you get your grill ready. So I'll meet you guys outside in just a bit. Okay, we are back. It is time. It is time to get this beautiful salmon added. As you can see, we are at 350 degrees. So let me go ahead and open up the grill. I'm gonna close our damper down. Our grill is open. And it is time to add this beautiful salmon. Let me see, look, look at this baby. Look at this baby. With the skin side down, we go right on the hot coals. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna stay right here where you see me at for about a minute or two. And then the whole idea with the slow and sear is not only being able to get high temperatures, but also look at all the other grill space we have here to go indirect. So once I reach what I'm trying to reach as far as the cook time, so I wanna go about two or three minutes, then I pick the salmon up and I just move it over here and let it finish indirect. So let's get it closed up so it can do its magic. So YouTube, what I almost forgot to do is to add that apple wood. So what I'm gonna do real quick, I'm gonna move it over. Let's get it over to the side and add our apple wood. And then we'll go right back at it. So here's my chunk of apple wood. We'll get that baby added. We want that apple smoke flavor. And back on top of the coals, we go. Can't forget, can't forget that, that's an important step. Okay, so now we're going back. I'm gonna get it closed up. We have apple wood smoke flavor going into these beautiful salmon. And I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Okay, we are about three minutes in, and what I did, I just picked up the salmon and I moved it over to the right. And I want it to stay co close because I still want that hot heat. And we're gonna let it cook indirect on this side right here, right next to the hot coals for another two or three minutes. So we had two minutes right on the coals. Now we're gonna go about two or three minutes right where you see me at. I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Okay, we are back. It has been about five minutes. I'm gonna open it up, let you see where we're at. So look what we have, folks. We have this beautiful opaque color on this beautiful Atlantic salmon. What we have going on now is this baby being indirect, five minutes in, you have awesome texture that's forming, okay? You have red pepper flakes. You have your salt, pepper, and garlic. Look at the colors in it, okay? And then you don't even see the brown sugar. It is soaked inside of this salmon. What we have is layers of flavor on an awesome Atlantic salmon. We'll let it sit like this. I promise you guys anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes is the total cook time, and we'll be at the cutting board before you know it. What I'll do is I'll give you one more look at this in about five more minutes, and then we'll have maybe five minutes to go, and we're bringing that baby in. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we're back. Uh, five more minutes, so now we're 10 minutes in, and I just wanna show you how the grill hasn't moved. I mean, plus or minus two or three degrees. Let's check on our salmon. Look at this. It is doing what it's supposed to do. This baby only needs about five more minutes max, and we're taking it to the cutting board. But I wanted to just kind of show you step by step the transformation that the salmon goes through while it's cooking. So 350 degrees, a couple of minutes on the direct coals, that is just to build that immediate heat to get inside of the salmon. Then you put it indirect and let it cook slowly right inside. We want flakiness, okay? We want a salmon cooked all the way through. We want a flaky, flaky salmon. And that's what we got here. Can't wait to show you the final product at the cutting board. Thanks as always for joining me. I'll see you guys in about five more minutes at the cutting board. So YouTube, I want to take a minute uh, before going to the cutting board to show you this awesome, 
easy salmon recipe to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays. I want to thank you for this year. This has been an awesome year. I'll try to post something again before New Year's, but just in case I don't, I want to thank you so much for your support. Over 700 plus subscribers in one year. So to me, it really means a lot that you all have actually signed up and followed me throughout this year. So we have plenty, plenty good things in 2019 for you. I got another grill coming. Don't want to let you know. So that's your tidbit. Got another grill coming. So DSK Grills is steady grilling. We got some good things going on. All this is possible because of your support. So thank you so much. Enjoy your holidays. Everybody be safe. If I get another one out before New Year's, then hey, we'll see it. But just in case, I wanted to take the time to tell you thank you so much. Now, let's go to the cutting board. Okay, YouTube, we are back. So we just finished up thanking everybody for the awesome support. Now, let's check out the awesome salmon. This is grilled smoked salmon. We used applewood, we used salt, pepper, and garlic, we used brown sugar, and we used red pepper flakes. Check this out. Beautiful salmon. Succulent, I'll go ahead and cut in and show you what I'm talking about. Look at the salmon. This is salmon done right. I want you to see that. Totally done, totally juicy, ready, ready. What I'm gonna do with the salmon, I'm gonna put this on the side of some rice pilaf and maybe a salad, but I want you to see how juicy it is. Look at this. This is salmon done right. 15 minutes at 350 degrees. We put it on the hot coals for about two or three minutes then indirect the rest of the time. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what d -Ski Grills is up to. And as always, at d -Ski Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. You enjoy the rest of your day, YouTube. Thanks again for joining me. Again, Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody and a Happy New Year.